This is problem 3.16, an aircraft engine with rotating valve. This example is from textbook Mechanical Vibration from Zinger Racer Rail 6th edition. We have an aircraft engine that has a rotating unbalance of Me. The rotating unbalance is this one right here, is E and M. We are told that the wing can be modeled as a cantilever beam, so we are modeling this wing over here as a cantilever beam. I will model the wing only till here where the engine is located. So we can do our model equals to a cantilever beam with an engine at the end. The length of the beam is L, and we have the mass of the engine is M. I'm going to put here mass of the engine. The wing has also a mass, and we have a rotating unbalance, and the rotating unbalance is Me. We are being asked to determine the maximum deflection, so the data that is given is the Me, the mass of the engine, the dimensions of the wing that will allow us to calculate the mass of the wing and we are being asked to determine the maximum deflection for an operating speed. This is a rotating machine, rotating speed of n rpm and we are being told that the damping is neglected we know that we can model our system as a mass spring system where we have an unbalance at the end and we will have a total mass This total mass will be our equivalent mass. And here we have an equivalent constant of the spring for that wing. We like to model the system as such because we know that the equation of motion of that type of system is the equivalent mass times the acceleration plus the equivalent constant of the spring then the displacement equals to the force that is being applied. This is valid for a variable measure from the equilibrium position. When we have an unbalance, the external force becomes Me omega square sine of omega t. You can recall that from our formula sheet that we studied during the theory. This is the case of harmonic excited damped system and this is a steady response that is the particular response for this type of equation. In this case we will neglect the damp. We will ignore the damper in our system. But as you can see, we have the applied force and we have the response of the system. So this is the equations that we will use to solve this system. Coming back to our problem, we want to calculate the equivalent mass. And for that, we have a cantilever beam with mass. The mass of the wing, we are given the density and we are given the dimensions. So we know that the mass is density times volume. The density is given and the volume will be the dimensions. We are given that this is B, this is A, and this is the length. Of our B. So that will be A times B times 
times the length. So we can write it as rho ABL. So that's the mass of the wing. However, the wing is also the spring because it has flexibility. Therefore, we have to use the formula that is for a cantilever beam with mass. If we go to our mechanical vibration book and we look for the table of equivalent mass, spring, and damper, this is the formula that we will be using, which is the cantilever beam with mass. So I'm going to use this equation to calculate my equivalent mass. To calculate my equivalent constant of the spring, I will assume a cantilever beam with n load. Therefore, I will use this equation right here. Therefore, my equivalent mass will be the mass of the engine plus 33 over 140. That's the mass of the engine, which is given, plus 33 over 140 rho ABL. So we have this term over here. Now we need the equivalent constant of the spring. As we said, we are using a cantilever beam. Therefore, the equivalent constant will be equals to 3AI over L cubed, where the area moment of inertia is 112 B A to the Q. Therefore, my equivalent constant of the spring will be 3 A A Q B over 12 L. If this is the equation of motion, the response of the system is equals to M E omega squared divided by the co equivalent constant times the magnification factor sine omega t minus a phase angle. Remember that the magnification factor is defined as 1 over the square root of 1 minus r squared squared plus 2 zeta r squared. However, we have no damping, therefore this term is equal to zero, and therefore we can say that the magnification factor is equal to one minus r squared, and that's the absolute value. Therefore, the maximum response that we are being asked is the amplitude of this expression. That will be then b, M e, which is given, omega square, constant of the spring equivalent. We calculated this expression right here, times the magnification factor. To calculate the magnification factor, we need the frequency ratio, which is the rotating speed of the system divided by omega n. We are given the omega in RPM, therefore we have to calculate 2 pi over 60 times n, therefore this is, will be pi n over 30. And omega n is the natural frequency of the system, which is the constant of the spring divided by the equivalent mass, and we also found the equivalent mass already. Since we don't have any numbers, we cannot move any farther, but this is the maximum response where the equivalent constant of the spring is this term over here and the magnification factor is calculated as 1 over 1 minus r squared. r is the frequency ratio, we have the operating speed, we have the natural frequency if we divide these two quantities. And this is the solution of this problem.